I'm Jay Gordon. I'm a farmer in the Chehalis Valley. Our family's been here uh, 148 years. We have a really nice diversity of wildlife on the place. At some point I stopped counting at 115, 116 different species of bigger critters that I had identified on the place. My name's Kirsten and I'm watershed coordinator in the Chehalis Basin. Um, I work with people that restore and protect salmon habitat through the lead entity process, which has been ongoing here for the past 20 years. But I've been working in the Chehalis for five years now, so it's become special to me. It's a slower meandering river, but if you go out on the system, you'll notice there's just really wild aspects of it. My name is Mike Ferroni, uh, a resident in the Boisfort Valley. I've lived here about 15 years. I've lived in southwest Washington for over 30. Spent most of my adult life in production of organic vegetables. The Chehalis River is important to me both personally and professionally. I've fished silvers and steelhead and kings in the Chehalis River. I fished sturgeon at the mouth of the Chehalis River. I have drawn irrigation water from the Chehalis River and, and its tributaries. My grandfather lived here for 78 years. The biggest floods that he saw were in 33 and 34. In 96, we were about 12 inches higher water than anything the family had ever seen. Then in 07, we were another eight to 10 inches above that. We're running a 100 year flood about every five to six years. The aquatic species plan is a recipe for the steps that we need to take and the actions we need to take to try and get that resiliency in the face of climate change. What the ASRP does now is it kind of brings more technical and intellectual resources to uh, actually implement this work at a faster pace. Salmon need healthy forests, salmon need good water quality, they need good floodplains. So when we work to help salmon, we're working on all these other issues simultaneously. I and mean, what we also know is that we depend on these things being in good condition as well. The ASRP matters to me. At the end of the day, organic agriculture is really about working with the environment. So there are all these sort of subspecies that don't get the same press. And I know having attended some of the Chehalis Basin meetings that those species are part of this conversation. For the first time, I'm optimistic that we'll be having a conversation with landowners, not putting them on the defensive, but asking them proactively with science what they can do different on their land that will make a difference for these salmon runs and ecosystem resiliency. What's really special to me about being in the Chehalis and doing this work is the number of people that really care about fish and say, hey, I want to get involved with you in this effort in, in salmon recovery. And the ASRP, as it has evolved, has started to bring more and more voices to the table, which I think is, is really resonating well in this basin. People want to contribute. Incorporating their knowledge as one of the types of knowledge has really been an important part of keeping the plan successful. I'm taken by the scale of the project and I adore the fact that such a diverse group of stakeholders is together at the table. Everyone's interests are interconnected and if the conversation continues and the implementation follows, that Western Washington as a whole stands to gain from this process. Mm -hmm.